Arts Access Aotearoa celebrating 25 years. Donate through the website. 25 for 25. Arts Access Aotearoa thrives because of its people, organisations, partners, donors, volunteers and our funders. We're all one family in this work. We have a tradition where we thank a person who has most inspired our team during recent years, whose actions have boosted the ability of our organisation in ways that we couldn't have expected or even imagined. The next award is our expression as staff, volunteers and the board to confer our most heartfelt thank you, the Arts Access Accolade. I'll invite our chair, Karen Webster, to make this presentation on behalf of all of us. Karen in a multicoloured scarf. Kia ora tato. Everything about our accolade recipient this year epitomises the values and commitment we look for as we recognise the person who will receive our deepest gratitude. This year, we honour Judith Jones. Judith, you're a close friend and ally of Arts Access Aotearoa and you often work alongside the staff and on projects and issues you are too passionate about. On a volunteer basis, you support the team with that passion and focus. You are an outstanding advocate for access and inclusion to the arts and we value your commitment, generosity of spirit, deep knowledge and desire to learn more. You always push the boundaries on what is possible in audio description so that people who are blind and can enjoy the visual and performing arts wherever they are exhibited or presented. Whether you are participating in the community as a member of We Dance in Wellington or giving accessible tours at Te Papa and so much more, yours is an exemplary example. I am pleased to have been asked by our esteemed patron of the Arts Access Accolade, Dame Rosie Horton, to make the presentation of the Accolade for 2020 on her behalf and to read her message. This is from Dame Rosie. I am sorry I cannot be with Arts Access this year and congratulate you all on making the awards happen in the time of COVID. With the world the way it is at the moment, it is organisations such as Arts Access Aotearoa that are at the forefront of kindness and selflessness. Qualities which have always been keystones of their philosophy. The people who work with Arts Access highlight what can be achieved to make our country a better place. It is my great pleasure to congratulate Judith Jones, whose work with people who are blind or have low vision brings alive so much art and culture, and for her many other contributions she makes to ensure the arts are accessible. Judith's passion will have brought so much pleasure to so many. I congratulate Judith on this well-deserved accolade. Judith stands smiling alongside Perry Piercy, fellow audio describer, and Robin Hunt. Close up of the trophy, an egg shaped vase with drips spilling from its opening. Kia ora. I have dark blonde hair cut in a short bob and dark round framed glasses. I have the blue eyes and pale white skin of my English ancestors. I'm wearing a green top with a black velvet collar and I'm wearing a white t-shirt with black letters across the front. This is art, full stop, it says, capital A. And art, of course, art, the arts, however we choose to define, deliver, and delight in whatever that means to each of us, is at the core of the wonderful stories we've heard tonight. It's such a pleasure to feel surrounded, albeit through the ether, by the community that Arts Access Aotearoa gathers, nurtures, creates foundations, networks, and offers shoulders for and I do so hope feels upheld and sustained by. I've been connecting with Arts Access Aotearoa since I was part of the first Wellington Audio Describer training. I've been a member of the local Arts for All network, experiencing so many varied perspectives on access and inclusion in the arts, and alas, lack thereof. How grim to hear the stories of what I now recognise as ableism and exclusion right here right now in our arts communities. We need to own how many people we're still leaving out and recognise how much our arts sector loses out 
when everyone is not here. Audio description is something I can do with intention to make a difference. Thanks to Te Papa for supporting me on this. I love it all. The research, interrogating my own approach, what I think I know, why I know, crafting those delicious words. However, it's all about the impact. Describing from the visual to the verbal to help people make their own meaning. So my gratitude to those of you who let me know what's working and what's not. And a big shout out to our growing community of practice of audio describers in Aotearoa, exploring together how to create meaningful work relevant to this place and our people. I try to influence the change as I can, agitate even, isn't that an excellent word about action? Because wonderfully though we are doing, I keep hearing stories of injustice and exclusion, and we should be doing better than this. I tell everyone Arts Access Aotearoa can help you create policies, make plans, make genuine connections across our communities, be intentional, and always, always understand it's not about what we do, it's about the impact that has. Arts Access Aotearoa, thank you for this award of recognition. I'm delighted to support you and proud to stand alongside you in agitation and action and for Arts Access for everyone.